see the pictures? Yeah? Are you going to be able to see the pictures there? Okay. Maybelle, come here. Do you want to hear the story? Polly in her duck costume. You ready? Okay. Polly was different from the start. She could hear the birds sing and smell the crisp spring air, but she could not see the blue sky or its clouds. Polly was blind. More than anything, Polly loved to be loved. She sometimes went hungry and was very lonely. Polly only felt warm and safe when she nestled deep in the hay. One day, a young woman came to the farm and cradled the goat in her arms. Don't worry, she said. You're coming home with me. Everything will be okay now. Polly's new mom brought her home, wrapped her in a blanket, and cuddled her close. With a small huff, Polly fell right asleep. <laughs> Every day, Polly's mom took her on walks through the house, helping the little goat learn the shape of each room. Polly perked up her ears, listening carefully. She followed the sound of her mom's voice. When she was hungry, Polly waddled happily to the kitchen. Before drinking from her bottle, she always gave a little snort, just like a piglet. But Polly's favorite thing to do was snuggle on the couch, wrapped tightly in a blanket. She likes the pictures. She does like the pictures. One morning, Polly's mom went outside to feed the other animals. When Polly woke, she called for her mom, but the house was quiet. Polly grew anxious. She checked each room in the house, but no one was there. She stamped her hoof. She called out, Mama, but no one answered. Where's my mom, wondered Polly. She hid in a corner, too scared to move. When her mom came back inside, she picked Polly up and bundled her in a blanket to comfort her. Warm and safe, Polly breathed easy again. Polly always felt best when she was wrapped in a blanket, but as soon as she stood up, she would lose her blanket. Polly's mom knew she needed something different. One day, she picked Polly up and wrapped her in something new. It was warm and fuzzy and so comfortable. Polly curled up on the couch and soon fell asleep. There you go. Yeah, this is a duck costume. Polly adored her new fuzzy coat. She wore it everywhere, even to the store. As she rode in a shopping cart, she heard all the people say, look at that goat dressed like a duck. Some gasped and some giggled with delight. Polly had never seen a duck, but she didn't mind. All that mattered was that Polly felt safe and happy. When Polly was wearing her duck costume, she didn't worry about a single thing, and all was right in the world. Right? No, no. Don't eat the book. One day, while happily snoozing, Polly felt a tickle at her ear. What could it be? She sniffled the air and felt around with her nose. There was a tiny baby goat beside her. Her name was Pippa. And she was a rescue goat, too. She had hurt her legs, and she wore bandages to help them heal. Mabel, you're missing the pictures. Yeah, good scratch, good scratch. <laughs> Polly and Pippa quickly became friends. The tiny goat followed Polly wherever she went. Polly soon outgrew her duck costume, but it was a perfect fit for Pippa. Polly's mom found a new duck costume that fit Polly just right. 
Polly and Pippa did everything together and never strayed more than a tail's length away. Polly started to feel like the duck costume was getting in the way of playing with Pippa. She decided to take it off, but just for a minute. As time passed, Polly and Pippa became fr best friends. Hoof to hoof, the two little goats whispered and laughed and snuggled. One day, Polly and Pippa's mom decided to take them to the store. She was about to put on Polly's duck costume, but she stopped. Polly was busy playing with Pippa. Polly didn't need her duck costume anymore. She had her mom and Peppa in a warm, happy place to call home. The end. There you go, last picture. Yeah, good day. Good night. Again? Yeah.